Hi, for this video, what I want to do is just show you really quickly how to take data and find the mean, the median, the mode, and the sample standard deviation using Excel. So what I have here is I have data values that are already entered in. Um, these data values range from one to five, and I have 25 data points that are entered in. They start at A2 and go to A26. So with this, what I want to do is use the formulas that are already embedded in Excel. So I'm going to start with the mean. All you have to do is hit the equals button when you're in the cell. And for Excel, they have it programmed as average rather than mean. So you would just start typing in the word average. You can double click on the average or you can um, continue typing it and put the parentheses. It's going to ask you for the array of numbers that you want to find the average of. So you can either take and select your data until you get to the bottom and it will automatically enter it in A2 through A26 or I could have also typed that in which I'll do on the next one. And then just hit enter and it will automatically calculate the average or the mean. So the mean for this data set was 2.96. I would do the same thing for the median. Um, I'm going to type in equals and I'm going to start typing the word median and notice that it is here as a command. And again, I'm going to type in A2 through A26 because that's where my data is and hit enter and it automatically finds the median. The mode, if you start typing in equals mode, and some Excels may not have this, you may actually have to do it yourself. But I'm gonna select mode and I'm gonna do the same thing, A2 through A26. And then the last one is the sample standard deviation, so I'm gonna type in equals, and I'm gonna start typing standard deviation. And there's two types, the ST, DEV.P is the population standard deviation, but we want the sample standard deviation, so we're going to do the dot .S. Once you select it, you again will just tell, tell the rows that you selected, so A2 through A26, and then hit enter and it will automatically calculate the sample standard deviation for you. Using the formulas in Excel is a very quick way of finding the information without having to plug everything into your calculator. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.